Hyperfocus is a state of mind that every programmer wants to achieve. A state in which one is fully concentrated and works productively without being distracted by external things. Welcome to the J Sparrow Start Programming Channel. My name is Ben and I personally manage to get into Hyperfocus on a regular basis and I want to explain you how I do that by following three simple steps. Let's start with the first step and that really is the most important and the absolute basic requirement. You need a clear head for the plan you want to implement. If you still have any tasks that you know you have to do in between, such as your sports session or you still have to pick up the children from school or you have other appointments in the near future, then either do them first or otherwise try to get into hyper focus when you know you have time now and very importantly a clear head for your task. If there are any things that you can't do directly and you don't know when you can take them off, I have a tip. Make a to-do list in which you write everything down, then you don't have to think about it all the time. It is important that you really record what you actually want to work on in this to-do list. Simply programming will not suffice. You need a real idea of what you want to focus on because that's the only way focus really works. You should have one or two goals in mind that you can put all your energy into right now. Just getting started without planning won't get you anywhere, even with a clear head. When you write your to-do list, you don't want to write down such tedious and annoying things as refactoring. And once you reach hyperfocus, you want to use this really qualitative working time for progress and not for maintenance. This is exactly where Captain J Sparrow comes into play. J Sparrow is our rule-based Java refactoring tool that automatically improves your code, makes it more secure, more powerful and removes code smells and bugs. With J Sparrow you have more time for the fun part of programming and the maintenance work can be done with the click of a button. The best part is that you can use J Sparrow for free. Just click the link in the video description and try 20 of our most popular rules for free. Go and see for yourself, I'm sure you will love it. Let's continue with step number two. Have a tidy workplace. I know that has nothing to do with programming at first glance, still it is essential because your environment is also affecting your state of mind. And if you're sitting at a desk on which there is also a gaming controller, three old coffee cups, unpaid bills, 12 pens, your mobile phone and god knows what else lying around, then there is definitely chaos here. Professional and focused work is easiest in a tidy and clean environment. It makes little difference whether it's a laboratory, a sports hall, a university hall, a kitchen or even your desk. If there is chaos around you, it will affect your subconsciously and then there will also be chaos in your head. For hyper focus, you need a way to be free from distractions. Step number three, have something that isolates you from the outside world. For me personally, it's always work music. Music that's specially made for focusing on tasks. That mostly is where I can get some good focus. There are tons of different playlists for this kind of music on YouTube or Spotify. You can of course also turn on nature sounds or ambient music or whatever helps you personally. I had a time when I would just turn on white noise while I was working and that helped me quite a bit. The main thing is that you have something that wards off the outside world. Then it is also important that you do not have any notifications on the PC like Discord, Telegram or WhatsApp messages. Of course, I also put my phone on silent if I really want to concentrate. It is important that you understand, once you're in hyper focus and then get pulled out, you won't come back into focus that quickly. That's very very important. Have a distraction free ambience and just the right music or any other sounds. That always helps me a lot personally. Do you have any tips to ensure that you get into hyper focus faster? Please let us know in the comments, that would be a very big added value for me and the whole community. I would definitely appreciate it very much and I'm interested in what other tips you have in store. Also please don't forget to subscribe to this channel to stay motivated as far as programming goes and if you could give me a like for this video you would support me in growing this channel as well. For the rest, I wish you a wonderful day and have fun programming. Goodbye!